Hello, 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 and uh, welcome to your Chakra Bros. 7 Days in 7 Minutes, a short podcast designed to condense as much information over the last weekend as we can in the shortest time possible. Uh, but first, we have the upcoming events, which I want to tell you guys about. Um, we have, the next thing coming up is Toronto, Canada, which is May 26th and May 27th. That is a Saturday-Sunday event, unlike last week's Boston. Um, I won't be able to make that because tickets are outrageous. And then we have Kansas City, which is June 23rd and June 24th, um, also a Saturday-Sunday event. I have good luck in Kansas, so I'm going to do my best to be at that one. If you're local, we have a two-box tournament at Cool Stuff Games this Saturday uh, that starts at 2 p.m. And then Sunday, we actually have a three-box tournament at uh, Sunshine Games. I'm not sure the, the start time on that. I'll try to add it to the, the description. Uh, but I know like uh, some of the Jacksonville community is coming down for that. Uh, I'll be, be excited to see uh, Mr. Foils himself again. Uh, hopefully, Zach will be able to come uh, down. And then I'm going to see about getting the Miami crew up here as well. That would be super awesome. Um, but yeah, let's just drive, or just go straight into Boston. Um, this was Akimoto's list. Uh, it, it's sweet. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, just, just, despite just winning, um, it has a lot of like really cool one-ups, but they worked out really great for him if you watch the finals. Um, so the thing is that people were asking me like what I played. I did play Ice Earth. Um, but my list was much worse than Akimoto's. So what happened with my list was I um, I took Chris Matiski's list, which was a fine list, uh, and then I made some changes. And the problem with the changes that I made was uh, for the two weeks prior to this event, I had tested exclusively mono lightning, um, or at least lightning variants, some like lightning deck splashing for Phoenix and VV, or or just splashing for Goblin to get back with your anger. Um, so, so mostly lightning variants, uh, and, and that was because I really thought that Alua was probably the the second or third, if if not close to the first best card in the set, and certainly the top ten of the best cards in the game right now. Um, so that put me on wanting to play these aggressive lightning decks. But the problem was is that if you know anything about like the the ice lightning matchup, the way it works is is um, your average lightning player should be able to be your average ice player. The, 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 the plays in lightning just light up and you, you add up. And you also have some, some luck-based things like Odin, of course. Um, although ice does have those things in Jill. But just the, the plays just seem to line up a little easier in lightning. That being said, once you get to the higher skills levels, um, lightning tends to underperform compared to ice. The, the good ice players can outplay the lightning players. And that's what I was having trouble with. I felt like the more and more we tested the matchup, uh, the more the better we got at ice and the better we got at lightning, the more we realized that ice was still beating lightning because of how good ice was. So I switched decks at the last minute. That being said, the problem with the switch is that I switched to Christopher Matiski's list, which was a good list. Except that I then made changes to make it a worse list. Particularly, I cut some of his answers to Alua. Um, like for example, I I wasn't playing Celeste because I just I, I couldn't find the room for it. He, he wasn't playing as many Genesis. Uh, both him and Akimoto played two Genesis. I felt like I, I wanted three. Um, and Celeste is one of the ways you take down the shield on Alua. Long story short, I lost this tournament basically to Alua, including my top sixteen. Uh, Cut. I, I lost to Alua. So I, I, I understood the power of Alua, and then I made changes to my deck that made it lose to Alua. Log, you know, lesson learned, don't, don't be that guy. Uh, I do want to point out the highlights of being able to see Chocobo Joe, uh, Brian, the Warrior Light himself, uh, Greg, uh, getting to meet Akimoto. It's always a pleasure when I get, get to see Rich. Uh, and then I got to meet Kelsey, who was nice enough to sign in a little altar on my Shantotos. Um, so I love foil altered Shantotos. They're really sweet. I, lo- I love them a lot. Um, but uh, to me, also, like, one of the highlights was seeing Max's list. Uh, Max is, like, an amazing player, and so if, if to see him play water, like, water monsters deck, like, gave me hope for the deck. Uh, I was a little worried about it in its matchups, uh, but he piloted it to a second place finish, uh, which is super cool. His list is, is awesome. He hasn't posted his list, so I'm not going to post his list just out of respect for him. Um, he might, he might have something planned for it, so I'll leave that for him to do. Um, but it is pretty cool. It has Schrodinger. Uh, Schrodinger happens to be like one of my favorite, if not my favorite monster in the game. Uh, and it's, Schrodinger is just like really sweet. Uh, that being said, you know, right now we have, well, let me just show you real quick. Josh goes, uh, top 10 cards from the set. Uh, Wall, Lewis, Star Sybil, Zamus, Cam, Orphan, Ingus, Yield, Ramza, Vaughn. 
Wall is up there at number one, Lua number two. I don't think that there's any disparity between those two things. Those are like the two best cards from, from the set. They're amazing. Probably could be played in the same deck. A lot of these cards could actually fit into that same deck. That being said, that has gone made Wool, not, not, not his particular post, but just in general, just how good Wool is, has jumped to $50 foil. Don't buy it $50, guys. Yes, I think that is... I'm probably going to get blasted for saying this. Yes, it's it's on the power level of like Shantoto and Alcid. If you've played with the card, you know what I mean. The card is very, very nuts. Um, but those those cards aren't even $30 foil. They're, not, they're around $30. They're certainly not $50 foil. Wait for this to come down before you guys jump into that. Um, finally, I want to talk about some, some regional... Uh, the, the, the regions with a lot of participants, at least, um, and their top eights. We had Mono Lightning taking first in the Netherlands, which was sweet. Um, Mono Ice taking first place in Germany. And then Mono Earth taking first place in Barcelona. What I like about the Barcelona list, um, or what I, what, I, what I dislike, but at least what I find interesting, is it will only have one wall. Um, so I don't know if that's because he only had one wall. Maybe he just thought that that was the the best answer at the time i don't know but wool is just an insane uh, sick disgusting card so i'd like to see that uh bumped up finally before i go i do want to talk about um top 16 list top 8 list they haven't been posted yet but in the future i hope that square Enix will post them the night of uh the night after swiss because what happened is i was able to watch like my my opponent's stream match so i could see what he's playing he was probably able to watch my match that was streamed so he could see what i was playing but there are people that that aren't able to do that because their opponent wasn't on stream and it just gets like some disparity um some inequality and in, uh the the field i think because some people will know other people's deck lists some people won't i would just like an even playing field i'd like to see that changed um anyway thank you for joining me i have five seconds left so we'll see you guys next time